Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use PowerPoint for beginners. And first things first, I'm going to make sure to let you know how to download PowerPoint. So there are two ways to get inside PowerPoint. First thing is downloading Microsoft 365, and this is going to be their website. And if you've downloaded the application, you'll see this interface, this one right here. And from here now, you can simply access PowerPoint on this platform. As you can see right there, these are the previous presentation I have. I can search them by on this search bar. And I can also check and see what are the available themes for me. So since I still don't have a full version of Microsoft 365, this is a free trial. I only have these three themes as of now. Now, once you click on blank presentation, you'll arrive on this landing page. Give me just a second here. Now, this is going to be opened up once you click on blank presentation. And we're going to use that to move on step by step here. And that being said, if you're satisfied with this theme, because this is going to be a blank one, simply click on add a slide. But before we click on add a slide, I just want to let you know that if you're watching this on your MacBook or any other devices, please stay in the video because the process is literally the same. First things first, please click on this floppy disk icon to click on save. However, in my end, I have auto save on this one right here. So I suggest you do this also. Most of the times, power interruption, internet connection interruption are just um, there's certain, certain things to happen, and we don't want to happen that or to lose our data midway. Auto save on and make sure you click on save. So that's done. So if you click on slide, click on insert, click on this new slide right there, as so. So that's going to be a first thing to do here. As you can see here, those two slides are different in format. Because the first one is going to be on tile, second one will be the second page. But if you click another slide here, just for example, give me a second here, you can you edit what inside here if you want to copy a specific title page that will be properly or rather that won't be a problem as you can see right there there are office themes or rather the function or filter on specific slides for example if you want a title only that will not be a problem if you want to add a specific content with caption that is not a problem also but for now i'm gonna do as is i'm just gonna use three slides Another way of adding a slide or a shortcut for you is Control M, as you can see there, Control M, or as you can see here, this line right there. If it's showing up, simply click on Enter, you'll have your new slide. I'm just going to limit myself for three slides as of now. Now for the first one, let's add a sample tile. So once you've entered the text, a sample text, and you highlighted it, you can simply edit it by choosing a specific function or edit filter here. You can edit the font type or rather font style. You can edit the font size here also, not a problem. You can edit the font color, the font background as so. But for now, I'm just going to use a specific neutral color. Now for the second one, let's just say here, I'm going to sec name this second page. Just for discussion purposes, I'm going to name this one third page. Now since I have first, second and third page over here, I want to sort that out. For example, I want my third page to be my second page. I want my second page to be my first page. I can simply hover or hold this one and put it right there. Basically, that's how you do it. But another way to change view is on this lower right option says this slide sorter. If you click on this one, you can simply sort it as so. But for me personally, this is much easier if you have limited or few slides. But if you have 100 or 50 or more, this one right here is the best option. Now, for example, I have accidentally added the slide there and I want to delete it, simply right click and then click on delete slide. But if I want a shortcut, simply click on add the slide again and simply click on the delete button on your keyboard. Easy as that. Now, since I already have a sample tile page, second page and third page, I want to add a theme here. So for a theme, I'm going to simply click on this design option. And as you can see there, there are a lot of themes to choose from. Click on this icon to drag it down and hover your mouse as so. So again, guys, this is going to be a free trial. So I have limited number of themes here. But even though I have limited number of themes, this specific themes are worth a try. So for example, I want this one, click on it, and then it will be applied on all of my slides. Now, next thing I want to take you now is going to be this designer. By default, it's not on uh, enabled. Click on enable right there and you'll see this option. It's like an AI, a co-pilot helper design your slides for example this one right here i like it or rather this one right there it's much more giving right now that's designer for you 
and I want to highlight this specific trick here. For example, my title is about all hands. And look what this hand is going to give me. Give me a second there. So as you can see right there, based on my title, all hands, the designer gave me this specific design. As you can see right there. It's going to depend on your title. As so. Now, if I want to format my background as it is, click on this format background right there. And you can edit the gradient fill. For example, I can click on that one. Click here. Again, guys, I just want to highlight, almost forgot about this one. The quality of your work here, the skill set, the output will be depending on your own preference. The limit here will be your imagination. Just want to show you the ropes here and how it works, okay? So moving on, since this is going to be the format background, next one is going to be this slide master. Give me a second here. So since I have this first tab right there, or first slide edited, I want to edit the second one and third one as so. I can edit it manually, but if I have 20 or more slides, that will take time. So with this one, I want to click on view and choose the slide master. If you're inside slide master, as you can see there, there are a lot of slides depending on the first slide you choose from. So for example, and drop it as so. And as you can see, as I move Gandhi on the very main page, the page on the right or bottom below would follow me as so. So I'm just going to put Gandhi on the top right section. Give me a second there. So I can even leave a comment on this specific photo. So for example, a person with glasses and a white robe. This is actually other generated. So if I want to click on alt text, I put alt text right there. I simply click on escape. It doesn't really matter. So if you want to edit the photo, of course, format picture, you can do so. You can improve the transparency. You can increase the size. It's really up to you for the shadow. The color is right there. So I'm going to leave this section by yourself here and just do have fun. Now, once I'm satisfied with this specific um, Gandhi photo, I'm just going to close master view or close master slide. And here's the thing. If I add a new slide there, give me a second here, add a new slide. You'll see Gandhi will be all throughout my slides. Easy as that. How helpful is that, right? Now, since I already have a tile page, I'm going to go to the second page and simply click on this one. For example, Let's just say Gandhi, a uh, Martin Luther King. I'm just naming very important people here. Let's just say Barack Obama as so. So for example, this is very boring. The tile, the font type, the font type is very boring. So to make it work or to make it a little bit better, these are the things you can do. So highlight this one and then simply click on this insert button or insert section. Choose smart art. And as you can see right there, there are a lot of designs you can use from. From this, right? So, or this process right there. You can edit it as it is. Now, that being said, if you click on design here, you'll see this option. You can still edit everything here. But for now, I want to highlight this specific smart art. So for now, I'm going to click on this list and choose this one. I'm going to use vertical bullet and use it as it is. So as you can see right there, I can input the text here. For example, Gandhi. Next one is going to be Barack. And then the third one will be Martin Luther King. So with this one, I can just edit it as so. Easy as that. But first, before doing this, make sure you delete the one in the background. So it's going to be smart art for you. It's much more um, revealing. It's much more giving rather than just simple text. So for example, just for some reason, you want to move a text and it's overlapping a specific art. This feature is for you. So simply highlight the text and click on this option and bring to front. Easy as that. You've just added a text in front of your smart art or any other photos inside your PowerPoint. This is pretty useful on organizing before sending or rather saving your PowerPoint. Now let's move on to the third slide to have a little bit more clear. So for animation, let's use the third page because we already have first and second used from. Let's focus on third now and simply choose a specific animation here. So choose animation and then you might ask, what are the animations for? These are the animations for the slide. In each slide you're going to use, this is going to be the animation. To fully understand or fully appreciate this one, you need to click on this one and after previous, or rather let's just say on click, the duration is a lot and the delay is zero. So to fully have this um, appreciated, make sure you play the PowerPoint. So as so, you can see right there, 
you saw that font right here the animation is moving give me a second here as you can see right there it's easy as that that's how you apply animation now moving on for the charts i want to add another page first for discussion purposes how to add a chart now if you want to add a chart simply click on insert and make sure these are the charts you want to add but for now we need to click on this one and simply choose a chart <clears throat> now if you want to add a chart for your powerpoint simply add a new tab just for discussion purposes and click on insert click on chart type right there there are a lot of charts to choose from for example this one right there the most basic one clustered column i'm gonna click on this one and wait for it to load up now this is gonna be a very basic chart and for now this is gonna be the data now you might ask it's automatically popped up yes that's right i did not type this data it already popped up by its own so you can simply edit the data here the name of the chart the name of the series as so depending on what you need now if you're satisfied with this one i'm gonna just duplicate this because the next feature i'm gonna tell you is important for example you want to highlight a specific data sheet here okay so first thing you want to do is of course insert the shape click on insert click on shapes right there i'm going to use this rectangle rather oblong and add this one right there so a little tip for you hold your shift button while dragging this one to have that perfect ratio of a circle so as you can see right there there's a fill we want to remove this one simply click on right click and click on format shape click on no fill and for the outline let's just say a color yellow rather color red that being said if you're satisfied with this one we can use this as a morph animation now you might ask what is that morph animation as so make sure this is gonna be duplicated as is give me a second here let me duplicate that one remove the previous slide so we have a very identical slide with circle right so for the first slide i want you to zoom out as much as you can because we want this circle to be on the very end of the powerpoint so again i want to cover everything here cover the powerpoint and just zoom out a little bit more as so give me a second here i just want to cover all of the powerpoint there so if you're covering much of the powerpoint don't overlap make sure just at the edge of it and then simply click on morph click on animation again here and look for morph give me a second here i'm just going to look for morph now since i don't have morph here it's going to be for the paid users but technically the idea here it's showing up this circle would shrink to the next slide for you to see it so right now i really don't have morph i'm going to get back to you once i have it so we can just skip that one and focus on the next feature of this um, tutorial so once you have this you can simply add the notes by clicking on this one and typing the notes here for example remind the team members to have lunch easy as that that's how you add notes and then to add comment cl simply click on insert and then you'll see this option that add comment right there and then on the specific side type then please let me know your thoughts so for whoever watches this slide or powerpoint can have or you can talk have a conversation regarding this specific slide that being said if you want to save it now simply click on this share button and send it to your friends but if you want a slideshow as it is and then click rehearse with coach basically this is going to be one-on-one -on -one with your friend and basically be having a meeting on the powerpoint you can record the powerpoint by clicking this button and have it recorded and check where you went wrong now if you want to check or rather see from the beginning and to the end on how you did simply click on play from beginning there or simply click on f5 that's how you do it now if you're satisfied let's go to recording click on that one simply click on record give me a second to load up now while recording here you can still click on stuff here for example i'm highlighting stuff here for example that one right there click on next slide i want to highlight this specific thing here as so stop recording click on export and you can save this as it is on your computer easy as that click on exit click on exit right there 
Now, I want to highlight this one. If you play from the beginning, give me a second here. Now, if you play on beginning here, and then you want to highlight something, simply click on right click, click on pointer, laser pointer, and you'll have that pointer while clicking or rather presenting your PowerPoint. And that being said, those are the tips and tricks for you for beginners on PowerPoint. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.